brushing up on my Al Stewart tunes, just in case I have to play some leads along with him uh, when he shows up for the IGC in a couple of months. So, um, just a uh, really one quick little update this, this week. It is uh, May 22nd, I think, Wednesday, yeah. Happy birthday, Mom. Just went out with my mom last night. She turned 86. Little, little old lady, hanging in there tough. Um, anyway, the, uh, the big news is, well, I mentioned last week we're down to a couple spots, folks. It is exactly two spots. So if you want to be in the camp and at the site, um, be sure to get on board quick. Two spots left, and again, this is on our in the Orchard Lodge, uh, three to a room, and it's just going to be a great time. We'll be uh, kind of running 24 hours. I'm not sure if there's going to be much sleep going on. We will see. And um, anyway, so that is the main news. I also have some, I guess I have some other suggestions about, about listening to stuff. I've been, um, again, you know, Al's, Al's doing a concert that night, or on Friday night there. And um, I'm figuring just in case he wants me to play along with him, I'm going to have to brush up on a bunch of tunes. So I've been practicing. <laughs> Everybody's had a chance to listen to that one. One of my favorite tunes of his, Night Train to Munich. I think I talked about that album, Between the Wars, a little bit a while ago. Um, and of course, been messing around with. Oh, I gotta get to. Okay, another little item on my agenda. I, I gotta save that for later. Um, I had to work on this one too. Um, so, I don't have, sorry, I, I'm supposed to be telling you about the IGC, but I'm just so pumped about this, and especially getting a chance to hang out with Al. And of course, our other um, phenomenal guests. Uh, Muriel will be around for a few days, and, uh, you know, taking us through some nylon string specialty stuff. She's a great, she also has a great little story on, not story, but she has great um, tips for techniques on tremolo. So those of us who suck at this, be able to improve with some of the tips she has. I can't remember what they were now, but I saw her do this uh, a while ago at Joplin and Sweeney. So, the wind kicks up. The wind whips up. Oh, another cool Al's tune. Let me think. So everybody's familiar with the two big albums, I'm sure, Year of the Cat and Time Passages. But I really want to recommend another one that is, that this was the one that really grabbed me and firmly cemented firmly cemented me in the uh, the camp of being a huge fan of Al's. And it was one that came out shortly after that. It was probably 1980. Called 24 Carats. Sometimes called 24 Parrots. But great tune, Merlin's Time, uh, Merman's Run, Ellis Island, and uh, so if you can if you can dig that one up. Oh, Antarctica. One I've played with them a bunch of times. Oh wait, I might not be on there. It might be on Last Days of the Century. I'll talk about Last Days of the Century later. But if you're looking for a slightly later Al album that is similar to uh, the other two, check out 24 Carats. If you want to know, the, the two before Modern Times and Past, Present, and Future are the two that really set the stage for Year of the Cat. So, um, really encourage you to check those out. Uh, some, some, pretty, some tunes of his get played a lot on that. From Modern Times we get uh, Roads to Moscow, and then also from uh, Past, Present, and Future, a, an interesting prophesiacal tune called Nostradamus. So, um, anyway, great tunes though to Carol, Sirens of Titan. Okay, so I really just came here to talk about Al today because I'm, I'm, I'm brushing up on my Al tunes. Um, uh oh, I won't be able to remember that one. Uh oh, where's it go? Really strange chord progression. tune called End of the Day. I'm going to brush up on that one too. Okay, i got to get back to work, um, but I just want to give you the, the, the really depressing news is two spots left if you want to be at the Quaker Center with us in September. So jump on it, uh, and that's it for today. Back next week with maybe a few more details. Don't forget, aside from Al, of course, we got Muriel and Alex Degrassi and Steve Palazzo and Doug Young 
and Richard Hoover will be talking about talking guitars with anybody that wants to know. He'll have some big hints on on uh, choosing or most more specifically having a guitar built for you. So that's why we want to get Richard in from the Santa Cruz Guitar Company as to what uh, what you can expect if you're thinking about choosing woods and body sizes and shapes and all that kind of stuff. So. A lot of cool stuff will be happening, and of course, the Owl concert, Muriel concert going on on the, after, the sh after the camp's over. And that's it for Wednesday, May 22nd.